Hello everyone, my name is Heather Morfield Lang and this is my YouTube channel Tech15 and today I'm going to be telling you about a fun tool called Pablo. Pablo is a tool similar to Recite This. This is a tool where you can put images with quotes and the really nice thing about this is it has a myriad of options that you can add in and so that's really nice. So you're already looking at Pablo and if you look here on the left side you will notice that you already have a group of images. There is a database of images already available to you and if you click up in the upper left hand corner you'll see images you can shuffle your images or you can search for 600,000 plus images that already have Creative Commons licenses and if you have any questions about those you can look at the information on Pablo if you click right here you can find out about licensing information and open access information and Creative Commons license information and read through that I was checking all of those out before I made this video you can also do a Chrome extension extension and all different other things with Pablo as well. So let's say for instance, since I'm in libraries, I want to do quote an image that has to do with books. So I'm going to choose this one. And then when I'm ready to do my quote, I click twice in the middle and I'm going to do a short quote. Now, if there's anything about this that I would like to change, if I want to make it longer, if I want to move it around, if I want to change the font, I can do all of those types of things. I can choose a myriad of fonts. I'll change that. I can bold it. I can change the size. I can make it larger. I can do all different types of things. Now, of course, this is not the type of item that you're going to be using if you're writing long amounts of text, but a lot of us like to include images, themes, quotes, memes in our presentations. This is a great tool to use with your students if you would like to be able to use quotes in presentations or posters or short ways to include information from students. This would be a great way for students to create their own board of me or information about myself. The other nice thing is, is if you look down here in the lower left corner, you can upload images. You can also change sizes depending on where you're sending this. You can do filters. You can do all different types of filters and contrasts. If I want none, uh, that makes the books a whole lot more clear as opposed to a light contrast. All of a sudden, this is becoming very Instagram-ish. You can do grayscale, blue scale, red tints. You can do all different types of stuff and play around. You can have body, header, caption so if I wanted it to be at the bottom you can put in more information so I'm just showing an example of the things that I have created you can also insert logos and graphics if you have some of your own so all the things that you've decided to include here in your image as well as your quote in your Pablo template overall and then you can choose some of the templates up top if you wish or you can choose the Im images over to the side you can share and download with all of these social media tools or you can download the image itself to include in any of your own presentation tools or to be able to print to include on a wall of quotes or bulletin board if you'd like it to be in a paper format so that's Pablo quick easy simple to use another option if you're looking for an idea for quotes images a way to create your own memes free simple very fun and i love the amount of images that are available hope you enjoy this try it out more videos coming soon here to tech 15 thank you so much have a great day